Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but that's because I was doing stuff. Anyways. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yeah. Why are you listening to me? Uh, Today, for this video, I will be cooking a pasta. And it's not just any pasta, it's tomato pasta. The only thing is that I'm not going to be following a video. I just Google the recipe off Google and it just What's shows that? me step by step in words how to do the recipe. So without any further ado, I will be teleporting to the kitchen. One medium sized onion. I don't have a medium sized onion, but I have this saved up from like a few months ago. One garlic clove. One teaspoon of mixed herbs. Does this have an expiry date? That's before May 2021. It's okay. 300 grams of pasta. I'm using whole grain rotini by Blue Menu. Four reduced fat. Four reduced fat heaped spoonfuls of cheddar cheese. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be using Cracker Barrel, the sliced cheeses. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. I don't have vegetable oil, but I have like bacon fat. I'm going to be using that instead. It's okay if you don't have any of the ingredients. You can always learn how to substitute. I just realized that this recipe doesn't have any meat in it, but since I'm making this not for me, I'm going to be adding some meat. Here I got some ground beef. It was 40% off. Color is kind of brown, but it's okay. And these sausages. Okay, I'm starting now, so if you want to cook along, start now. And remember, stay safe, kids. Okay. not to put the skins in your food. Okay, now my water is boiling, so I'm going to add the pasta. I think you're supposed to put salt in the water, so I'm going to do that now. I'm using Seas of Life iodized sea salt. While that's cooking, I'm going to be making the sauce. I'm going to use mm, this one. Actually, I'm going to use crushed tomatoes. Just kidding, you don't need this. I think you're supposed to use the other one. Shit, the pasta. Um, actually guys, you do need the other can. And now I'm gonna add the bacon oil. Now I'm gonna add the onion and garlic. Now I'm gonna add like half of this meat. I decided not to use the expired herbs and instead I'm gonna make my own herbs. For that one, you're gonna need um, like two bay leaves, oregano, and basil. Leaf. And don't forget to keep stirring as you're cooking or everything will burn. Oh, danke. I'm also gonna add more of this here with like iodized sea salt. This is what it looks like right now. I actually didn't add half a can of the diced tomatoes. I added like two centimeters of the can. The can minus two centimeters. That's how much I added. And for the crushed tomatoes, I added like four centimeters. Can minus four centimeters. I actually forgot to put in the sausages, so I'm not gonna use them, but you guys still can. I also just found some mushrooms in the fridge, so I'm going to be putting those in now, before it's too late. <laughs> now I'm going to take this cheese and rip it up and put it inside. This is what it looks like right now. If yours doesn't look like this, don't worry. Just try to make it look like this. 
If it tastes bad, just add more salt. Here's the end product of the sauce. Mix the pasta into the sauce. This is the end product. And this wouldn't be a <laughs> I just flung a pasta all the way to the end of this room. And this wouldn't be a Gigi Pot video without a review. B. Be... B. Be... <laughs> See you later.